Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Bite Sized Reviews. If you haven't seen this series before, what I do is essentially every two weeks do a video about trying to use up all of my samples. This is heavily inspired by LS and her sample Sunday videos because I've got a basket full of samples that I'm trying to work through, and the majority of these are usable samples that I just don't reach for. So this series is my way of getting use out of all of these little samples. Before we jump in, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series, and if you have it and you'd like to, hope you will consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So if you missed the previous video in this series, I'll throw it up in the cards so you can kind of catch up because the first thing I'm going to go through are all the samples I picked last week. The first sample I want to talk about is this Clinique concealer. This is the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer and I had like three of like these little bubble things. You don't get a lot of product in the bubble things so... I had three of them and I was like, oh, maybe between the three, I should be able to use them. They give you three shades of one deep, one really light, and then one medium shade. By using the bubbles of the light and the medium and mixing them together, I was actually able to get two full uses out of the sample. I was shocked too. And by mixing the light and the medium shade, I got a shade that I really could use under my eyes. And this concealer shocked me. It looked so good good under my eyes like it didn't really sink into my fine lines i do have some fine lines under my eyes it lasted really nicely throughout the day oh my god this is a sample that's probably going to get me to buy the full size product because i'm intrigued i have no idea how much this costs but I i'm gonna look into it because it it legitimately shocked me also i'm thinking about doing a video that was suggested a sample made me buy it video if you guys want to see that let me know down below because i'm trying to compile you know a list of everything that a sample made me buy the next product sample that i want to talk about is from murad so this was the hydrodynamic ultimate moisture moisturizer this is like step three in their kind of like series this felt decent on my skin it didn't give me a level of uh, hydration that I was okay with, um, especially on my dry areas. Like this felt okay in like my oily areas, not so much in the areas where I get more dry. So if you have oily skin, uh, especially in the winter where you're trying to moisturize but I moisturize too much, this might work really well for you. I would suggest picking up a sample, but if you have dry skin, stay away. <laughs> especially this time of year. I just, I didn't feel like I got enough moisture from this product. I ended up going in again with my uh, regular moisturizer on top. The next sample I have is from Benefit and this is the adorable little sample of the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I got the shade number two. I tried this out a couple of times. Thankfully the size of this foundation is big enough that I could have used it a couple of times and it never really worked for me. I tried mixing this with another foundation. I tried using it on its own. I did have to lighten it with a white mixer just because it was too dark, but it, it didn't really work for me. It never it looked, never sat right on my skin, and that's the thing. Like it just looked like it was sitting on my skin. So I was I'm glad I was able to try this out. And there's a little bit left in the bottle, but I'm gonna just toss this. I'm glad I was able to try it. It just didn't work. And I really wish a lot more companies would do this because they actually sell like these little minis for a couple of dollars so I could try it out. I 100% would have picked this up and tried it out, realized I didn't like it, then buy the full size, not like it, and then either have to declutter it or return it. Just a lot more conscientious. Con conscientious. Con con conscientious. It is 6 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I am exhausted. <laughs> The next product that I have is from First Aid Beauty, Fab. So this was the Facial Radiance Polish. So it's a, uh, excuse you, it is a, an exfoliator. So I was using this and I really liked the way it made my skin feel. Like I feel like I was exfoliated without uh, my skin feeling stripped. But this has the uh, weirdest scent. I don't know, after I used it, I just, I felt... It, it smelled off. 
and I honestly couldn't tell if it's like the product that's gone off or if that's how it's supposed to smell. So I used this twice, I liked it, but I couldn't get over that scent. And I, the reason I stopped using it, because this is a full bottle, not a full bottle, but it's a good size bottle, but I stopped using it because I honestly couldn't tell if the product had turned or not. So if you've tried this out, let me know if you've also experienced that same scent, because I honestly have no idea whether it's turned and I shouldn't use it and should toss it, or if that's actually how it smells and I should just get used to the scent. <laughs> The next product I'm talking about is from Shanta Kai, and this is their Rose de Mai Cream. So I mentioned in my previous video that I thought because of the size that this was an eye cream. This is a sample, and it's actually a face cream. So this is the Rose de Mai Cream. It's got a very heavy rose scent, but not like an artificial rose, like it actually smells like rose. And I've used this a couple of times. It is like a nice size little jar here. At first, I was just focusing it like in the center of my face, and then I used it all over. I really like this cream. <laughs> I, I hate that I like it. I'm never going to buy the full size. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not going to. Because the full size, I'm looking at the website right now, is over $200. What the hell? No. No. I'm not. <laughs> So I, uh, I started rationing off this little sample when I found that out. So I've got just like a little bit more, a little bit less than half the container left. So you know what? I might bring this when I go on my work trip in a couple of weeks, just finish the bottle off. But there's nothing in hell that can convince me to buy that full size, no matter how good it is. The next sample I want to talk about is from NARS, and they actually had a sample of a uh, lip pigment. So this is the Power Matte Lip Pigment, and I don't see the shade name anywhere, which is a little bit unfortunate, because I looked through and I couldn't really find anything that specified the shade. But what I thought was really cool is that they managed to package a like one to two time use sample for a lip product, which I thought was so cool. Okay, so this is the original packaging, and then you open this up, and there is this inner packaging. And what you do is you twist it open, and you get a little lip applicator. So I was able to use this twice for a full lip application. I think I've got enough to do a swatch for you guys, yeah. So it's this beautiful mauve color. I'm not wearing it today, but it reminds me a lot of Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild, that kind of shade. It's gorgeous. I love the applicator on this. I don't know if this is just like the sample applicator or if this is actually how their applicators are. Looking at the picture, it looks like it is. I love this applicator. It was so easy to get this nice crisp line on the bottom lip and to outline the top. I loved the shade and it was really comfortable. Like my favorite like comfortable lip formulas are from Fenty and from Jeffree Star. This was among the top. Yeah, I, I, this is something that's going to get me to at least try out one of these Power Matte Lip Pigments because it was so comfortable. The color was gorgeous. I loved it. And I loved the way they packaged the sample. This was like the gold mine of samples. Like, oh, I cannot wait to try this product out. I don't know if I'll pick up this exact color just because it is so close to Rebel Rose, which if you know my channel, you know how much I love Rebel Rose. But I am interested to see like what are the colors they have and just at least pick up one because this shocked me. The last product that I picked last week I didn't actually get around to using just because my hair has been in a little bit of a transition and I wasn't 100% sure if this was okay to use. Uh, I am following the curly girl method and I was having issues figuring out whether or not I could actually use this. This is from Living Proof and this is the perfect hair day five in one styling treatment. I think because it's not like a shampoo or a conditioner it should be okay for me to use in my hair but I'm actually getting a haircut later today. I'm getting a curly haircut. It's called a Rizo cut and that's why my hair is looking a little bit nuts because uh, you're not supposed to use any products or anything in your hair when you're going to get it cut in its natural state. So I really didn't want to risk using this before my haircut. So I'm going to wait till after I get my haircut, learn how to kind of style it. I'm going to chop off a decent amount. I kind of want to go to like collarbone length. So we're looking at about that much hair. I'm trying to get like the rest of this blonde damaged out and it's grown out to the point where I think I can cut it all off if I go collarbone length. So we're working on that, but I'm just going to carry this one over and use it after I have my hair cut. Now that we have all of those samples from last week out of the way, let's jump into the basket and pick out a few more. So let's see, let's see. 
Okay, so I grabbed way too many samples in that first handful, so I put a couple of them back. But the first sample that I'm actually really excited to try out is from Urban Decay. So this is the Naked Skin Foundation, and so they actually give you a bunch of really nicely filled bubbles in here in different shades. So I have shade 2.0, 3.5, 5.0, and 7.5. I... I'm pretty sure I can use 2.0 and 3.5. 3.5, I might need to use a white mixer. And I'll see what I can do with the other two, but my favorite foundation samples are the ones that come in these bigger bubbles because you can actually get a use out of them. I really don't like the ones where all you can do is swatch because, yeah, it's great if you're just trying to find a shade, but how do I know whether or not I actually like the foundation enough to purchase it? Right? Right. Another foundation sample, and this is actually from Makeup Forever. This is a little bottle of their matte skin, nope, their matte velvet skin 24-hour full coverage foundation. And this is in the shade Y315. Something tells me it's going to be too dark because I'm pale as hell now that it's winter. So I'm probably going to have to mix it, but this is a nice size sample bottle. Again, I love these kind of foundation samples, so I can't wait to try this out and see what I think because I've never tried this out before. The next sample I got is from Guerlain, and this is the Lingerie de Peau Natural Perfection Foundation. Now, this foundation probably cost over $100. Um, there might be enough in here for, like, an actual full application. I got the shade 02N Light, so I think... I'm afraid it's going to have a cool undertone, but it might be light enough for me to use. So I'm actually really excited. I've never tried anything from Guerlain outside of their uh, primer that I've also got like deluxe samples of. And I loved it. And I hate that I loved it because that primer is also over $200. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the next sample that I grabbed is from a brand I've never heard of. It's called Form. So this is a clarifying shampoo, and I've been on the lookout for a good clarifying shampoo uh, since I fell in love with the Diva Curl one. The Diva Curl one's a little bit expensive for how little product you're getting. I've got a lot of hair, and even just doing my scalp, like, it's... $28 is a lot for me to pay for a little bottle, so I've been looking for a more affordable dupe. Something tells me this isn't more affordable, <laughs> but it's a sample, and I will try it. The next sample that I picked up is from Glam Glow, and this is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment, and I believe it's a cleanser? No, it's a mask. It uses a full face mask. I can never tell if it's, like, they say Super Mud Clearing Treatment, I can't tell if that's a cleanser or a mask, but it's a mask. So this is a mask from Glam Glow. Ooh, look how shiny it is. And I can't wait to try this one out. I picked up a mascara sample, which I'm actually really glad I did because I believe all the mascaras I currently have in my everyday basket are about to hit the three months and I need to rotate them out. This is from NARS and this is the Climax Mascara. Now I've heard a few things here and there about this mascara and I do love my mini mascaras, so we'll see if this really lives up to the hype. Last but not least, for these two weeks, I picked out a fragrance sample, and this is from Replica, which is known for some fairly unique fragrances, but also expensive fragrances, and this is their fragrance in Lazy Sunday Morning. Now, I'm intrigued. Let me open this. Let's get some first impressions right here. Can I smell it? Okay, let's give it a spritz. Ooh, I like that. It smells very fresh. I like that a lot. It's not um, too artificial. It just, it smells very, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but stark. Stark, clean, like linens almost. Like the way fresh like towels would be like at a really nice hotel. That's beautiful. And I think that ties into Lazy Sunday Morning because I guess they're trying to go for like that fresh linen scent that you're still in bed. Oh my god, I love that first impression. It's one thing for it to smell nice on its own. It's another thing to see if it actually smells nice on you. So I'm going to try this out and see how it actually performs with my skin. But like, I would buy a candle or a room freshener of that because that is amazing. So those are all the samples that I'll be using for the next two weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.